Okay, I'm gonna show you how to create a steamboat out of a soda can. And uh, in order to do that, you need to first decide a few things about what you want coming out of here. Um, this is the copper tubing I'm gonna use. And I will already talk about how I have used a nail to put a wider hole at the end of this. And in a little bit, I will coil this up and show you where this goes. But uh, if I'm gonna start with this, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the coil come out the top of this hole and come out into the water that way. I think I'm gonna do that because uh, this is at the top. If I had this facing down in the water, I'm afraid that's gonna take on water or I'm gonna use up uh, a lot of hot glue to try and seal that up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, cut a big square out of this so that I have um, just an opening to put stuff. Okay, so I cut this top off here. Um, not the straightest of my work, but that's okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna take off this tab and I will use this later as my rudder down the bottom. Try and keep that straight. Um, I'm also, uh, because I've done this before, uh, I am going to take this little piece and I'm gonna cut this in half. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually glue it onto the side like their wings. Um, I know that I'm gonna have it down, think about this way. Um, round boats will typically um, roll. So I'm gonna do this and, and try and test it out over here. So I'm gonna glue these on. All right, we're gonna do a proof of concept test here and see if it fits and if it floats, and it does. So that's good. Those wings, when I add a little bit of weight to it, are gonna sink a little bit. That seems like it's gonna go pretty decently, let's see. Next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this copper coil and I'm gonna start twisting it up. So I have this wooden dowel and I'm going to wrap this up. Try and make it even, best as possible. You want these to be kind of close together. Because remember, when you're adding the flame to the steamboat, that flame is on a single point. If you can cover the most amount of surface area with that heat, it'll heat up faster. All right, I'm gonna stop there for the time being. I wanna see this. So here's my coil, and here are my outputs. So I know that I wanted to take it and bring it out this way. So I just wanna make sure things are working. And you know what, let's take this tab and let's move this tab up. Let's kind of sandwich that there, all right. And I got some more bending to do. You wanna be careful when you bend this end piece. You don't wanna crimp it down. And you kinda of wanna have these about the same distance out so that it goes a little bit straighter. All right, I'm gonna do proof of concept over here again and let's see if this sits down enough into the water. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed here. Um, you can see the weight pulls that down. So I'm gonna try and hold this up here. And 
and I know that's where I want it to be. And those tailpipes, oops, at that point, are down under the water, which is what I want. We want that to be under the water. So things are looking good here. I'm going to start hot gluing the ends onto the can and see if I can get that to stay upright. <laughs> This little rudder under here now, all that's drying on there. Then we can have everything drying at the same time. There's a benefit to this being a can shape. You can work on it while it's standing up. Let's hot glue dry a little bit. And we'll do another proof of concept and see how that works. Yes, it's a little bit stringy with the hot glue, but that's okay. That'll all pick off. Remember folks, the first word in hot glue gun is hot. Always remember that. gonna be great you ready now I don't know if you can guess on this where the heavy end is watch this I'm gonna put it in here and it's gonna kick backwards so it will float but this is not at all balanced the way that I want it to be so if you can imagine what needs to happen here I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and you're gonna see my next iteration One more. Okay, so after some tweaks with some hot glue, you can see inside I've had to layer some hot glue to kind of counterbalance some weight. What we have is we have a boat that can move. You can see that the tailpipes probably could be a little bit deeper underwater, but we'll see. I still need to add the foil bowl there, but this should putt-putt its way down along here. Next step is to test it with the flame. All right, here you can see I have added my little foil bowl and sterno jelly and what you cannot see is I have injected water into that copper tubing so that when I light this on fire
we're gonna have a little bit of patience here. You can hear it. Can't necessarily see it, but that's hot there. Right now it's heating up the water inside and let's see what kind of action we have back here. We start to see some pot pot with that water moving. you need to figure out how to make it move straight. But there it goes. You see the bubbles, you see it putt putting. Looks like my copper tubing came up and out of the water. So that would be a back to the drawing board issue to make sure that that stays under. But look at that. Also look to see how that is starting to tarnish. If I'm gonna run this again, I need to make sure that I sand that down. Is that? So the steam's coming out, but it's not underwater anymore. Hear the steam. I'm going to douse it. And I will go back to the drawing board.